I just got the text that uh, let me know that the shop that I'm working at is closed uh, as of like right now ASAP <sighs> I've got to have all my stuff out. So, god damn it. Let's go do that. Let's go move a bunch of stuff. And then, got to find some place to tattoo. Well, we're here. we got some folks uh, here to help us. Oh my god, it's bright out today. It is warm. So, let's get in here and move out all my tattoo supplies and furniture and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. See what else this brings. It is done. We've got all this stuff and my toolbox. Well, the top half of my toolbox at least. And the rest of that stuff, some friends showed up to help me out, so it didn't take all that long, but it's still a bummer. One last look. Right behind that big old tree, that's not helpful. Blackheart Gallery, thanks for all the good times and all the cool tattoos. All right. On to a new adventure. It's been a day since uh, I found out that I was without job. Yeah, I'm, I'm still wearing the same same clothes. I've talked to a bunch of tattoo shops all around the country about doing guest spots. But I think I've got one lined up. Seem really pretty uh, keen to have me come do a guest spot, which is awesome because I don't think I've ever actually done a, like a real, real big person guest spot in a shop that I don't really have any connection to. That uh, should be interesting. A little, little scary, a little scary, a little scary, because I don't want to look just like absolute fool, not knowing like what to do, what the uh, standards are, if there are any. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's unfamiliar territory, so we'll we'll figure that out. Um, but I did find one upside. I did find like sixty-two dollars in quarters in uh, in a candy machine that I had sitting outside, like just outside the front door of the shop that had been sitting there for a while, and probably shouldn't be eating that candy because it's been like. I mean, I forgot about it. It's been like four years since I changed that candy. They haven't killed me yet. But right now, it's one of those times where you just you just feel like you need a gas station hot dog. It's comfort comfort food, comfort item. Like the job that I had to get through my tattoo apprenticeship was uh, working third shift at a Circle K. So I basically survived off of uh, garbage bag hot dogs and. Uh, like a day old thrown away Krispy Kreme donuts for like a year. So let's go hunt down this uh, gross gas station hot dog and uh, desecrate the temple. The search for gas station hot dogs was absolutely fruitless. It was a bust. So I settled for nachos. Not as good. Just not as good. Well, it's earlier than I'm normally uh, used to being up. But I have... Uh, Meeting with a tattoo shop today. See if maybe I can uh, get someplace stable to work. Uh, since Black Heart doesn't exist anymore, gotta get ready to do the thing. Yeah, all right. Uh, wrong way. I'm now working at uh, Out of Pale Moon Tattoo for the foreseeable future. We'll see how we like it and all that stuff. Uh, I guess it's technically a gas spot. Um, until we decide otherwise. So, yeah, I'm real excited. It's a cool space. It's awesome. <laughs>